Welcome to the Optimad Video User Guide. This video will show you how to view images taken by your smart scope on your computer and how to use the Optimad Viewer PC software included in your sales package. Once you have screened the patient, place the device back on the cradle. Windows will automatically detect that the smart scope is connected. The basic way of viewing the images taken is through my computer. Click on my computer in the start panel and then the drive mark smart scope. Then click on the folder mark DCIM. Inside there is where the patient folders are. P001 dictates that it's patient number one. The images are stored as JPEG files. A more advanced way to view the images is by using the Optimate Viewer software. To do this, firstly locate the Optimate Viewer software on your PC and open it up. There are three ways to transfer the images onto the Optimate Viewer. The easiest way is to let the software do it for you. Once you place the device on the cradle whilst the software is open, it will automatically recognize the smart scope is attached and will ask if you want to copy the images to the software. To manually copy the images directly from the smart scope, click on the folder image on the top left hand corner, then load from smart scope source. You will then get a choice of which images you would like to transfer over. The third choice is to view images already stored on your computer. Again, click on the folder image in the top left hand corner, but this time choose Load from Local File. Locate where the image is stored and click on it to load it into the software. You can see that the images are loaded into a column on the left hand side. To view different images, just drag and drop them into the main viewer. On the top right hand corner we have five different options to choose from to manipulate the images. Pan and zoom will allow you to zoom in and out of the image. Do so by clicking the pan and zoom tab. Then whilst clicking down on the right mouse button, move the mouse forwards and backwards to zoom the image in and out. You can also move the image by holding down the left mouse button and by moving the cursor left and right. The lens option allows you to zoom in on specific areas that you would like to see in more detail. Click on the lens tab and then click again over the specific part of the image that you would like to magnify. By holding the left mouse button you can also move the lens around. The size of the lens and the strength of the magnification can also be altered by changing the magnification percentage and the size. Window allows the user to change the contrast of the image. If the image is originally quite bright, which is something you will find if using a strong illumination level, then you can play with the contrast until the image colors are improved. For example, the original image was this color. It was taken on Chinese eyes with illumination level 9. By holding down the left mouse button and by moving the mouse left and right, we manipulated the color scheme so that the image quality was vastly improved. We recommend doing this with all images that have been taken using Illumination 7 or above. The Transformation tab allows you to change the color scheme of the image. The image can be rotated 90 degrees by clicking on the flip buttons. You can also invert the colors or choose to view the image in black and white. 
To revert back to the original image, just click Reset. Finally, by using the Annotations tab, you can mark troubled areas on the image for future reference. As an example, I will use the arrow and text option to highlight an area I have detected might be a problem. Click on the relevant tab and then change the text size to 30. Then, click the left mouse button on the area you would like to highlight. Move the cursor a few centimeters away and then click again. Fill in the text box with your own comments. The Ultimate Viewer software can also be used to view multiple images. This is particularly useful if you are doing a follow-up consultancy a few months later on, or if you want to view both eyes at once. To do so, simply click on the One Image tab below the layout. Then select how many images you would like to view at once. For this example, we will use two. Then simply drag and drop the images you want to view from the side part and use the pan and zoom to resize. Whatever changes you make in one image will be reflected in the other. Now let us move on to the patient report. Click on the new examination near the top. You will see a patient report card appear. Fill out as necessary. Then click on the Save button on the right hand side. Below the Save button there is also the option to print out the images and the report. To review the patient's report, simply click on the Patient Archive next to the new examination. Enter the patient's identity code. Blue Heart means the patient is a male. Click on it to expand. Here we have the date of the previous record and by clicking it again you can find all the images that were taken during the previous session and the report written. Thanks for taking the time to view our, how our Optimate software works. If you have any other questions